Their voices are just so good. Hello, my friends. You have asked. I have listened. Here we are reacting to more Jewish music, this time the Yeshiva Boys Choir. I was blown away with the talent and showmanship of the Miami Boys Choir, so I'm really excited to listen to this today. I've never heard this song before, I've never heard of this ensemble before, so I'm so excited to listen, to learn, analyze, and react, and I can't wait to read all of your comments. Let's dive in. This is new. The opening of this is a little more hardcore than I expected. I've learned so much about these amazing ensembles. And what really blew me away was how many kids actually audition and apply to be in these ensembles. And listen to this opening soloist. The tone is so clear. And what really just blows my mind is how young these kids are, but how clear their tone is. One thing that a lot of young singers really struggle with is producing a clear tone. Oftentimes when you're young, it's pretty breathy because the vocal folds are struggling to come together cleanly. And as, especially for young boys, if they're going through puberty, their voices are changing pretty much every single day. These kids are well-trained. One thing that hasn't let me down is the choreography with these ensembles. This time we've got planes in the background, there's an ensemble outside, the kids are outside. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> One thing that's really nice, and I look for this a lot in a good ensemble, is how is the rest of the choir matching with the soloist? So we have a soloist here, and then the rest of the choir joins in, and it's almost as if it's one voice. And that's what a choir wants. You want to sound like one voice. If there's one voice that sticks out, maybe there's too much vibrato, or maybe they're a little bit flat, it's really noticeable. But this is a really tight, really together ensemble. So for those of you who don't know, this is really high singing for boys this age. Boys this age, we would typically call trebles because they sing really high in their range. And when I was a young man, that's what I was. Before my voice changed, I was singing soprano, soprano one, soprano two in choir. So I was singing really, really high. But these kids aren't singing in that register. They're singing in mostly their chest voice and they're really belting out these notes. So you would expect to see a lot of, a lot of pushing. A lot of straining happening to get those high notes, but there's none of that here. I do understand that this is a music video, so they recorded the audio first and then the video second, but I'm really listening carefully for any straining and I'm not hearing any of it. It's clear as a bell. Regardless of their age, their voices are just so good. <laughs> That's a really high belt. There's no other way to describe it. I got a lot of comments in my Miami Boys Choir video, which I'll link in the description below, about how energetic and how happy these boys were singing. And it was because they were so connected and invested with the text. In this song, there's a lot of religious significance in the text and they're happy, you know, they're really vibing with what they're saying. And I say this to my students all the time, you need to understand what you're singing about in order to have a complete performance. Religious or not, you have to understand exactly what you're saying. And one big criticism that I got in my singing and my music making was I wasn't connected to what I was saying. In other words, I was just standing there and singing it. And while I might have been singing it with good technique, there was a big chunk of that performance missing. And that was really connecting with the text, understanding what I'm saying and actually performing it. And these guys are doing it so, so well. It's 
always interesting to see how the technique helps the artistry and the artistry helps the technique. So what I'm hearing with these boys right now is that there's a lot of brightness in the sound. It's very light, it's very bright, and I think part of that is that there's smiles happening when they're singing. They're having a good time. And when we have a good time when we sing and we raise those cheekbones a bit, we get that really nice bright ringing sound. I want you to listen carefully for the rest of the video and listen for that bright light sound that they're getting from those smiles. And if you want to sing that way too, I recommend just smiling when you sing, even if it's a sad song, just getting a little more height in the cheekbones. Now we have a bit of division and harmony in the group. There's the melody that's continuing on. We've got some harmonies over top of that and it's making the texture a little bit more complete. So far we've had keyboard, we've had bass, we've had guitar, and now the voices are starting to harmonize and all these overtones and all these great sounds are coming together and it's so pleasing to the ear. <laughs> And that soloist absolutely slayed it. Good on you. So what happened here was the soloist took over the melody and the rest of the choir supported him. One thing I love about this soloist is the physicality in the singing. The fists are clenched, the arms are going, the knees are bent. They are ready to go. This is so important to singing. We often forget that it's a full body event. If we start to sing from the throat, we're gonna run into a lot of issues. And what I mean by singing from the throat is singing from here without any support from below, where there's no breath support, there's no breath control. It's really just all singing from here, and that's so much stress. So if your singing voice is lacking power or volume, then I recommend singing more with your body. So bend your knees, loosen up your limbs, and just use more of your body when you sing. Add some physical movements, do something to get some energy going. You could even sing on a treadmill. That'd be pretty cool. And again, we have another soloist with a really clear tone. There's different timbres going on here. The voices don't sound exactly the same, but the technique behind it is very, very similar. So what this tells me is that this group has a great team of musicians, of teachers, of singers, helping guide these young singers into good technique. They all have that forward, light and bright sound. I don't hear any weird vibratos or weird timbres that are happening. They're all very consistent, even though each singer is very individual. This soloist is so great and I wanna hone in exactly why I think they're great. Obviously there are many reasons why, but I want you to look carefully at his tongue placement. As I mentioned earlier, they are lip syncing, but he is really singing here. They're just not using that audio from him being by the ocean. But the tongue here is very relaxed and one way that we can achieve a nice, clear, clean tone is by relaxing the tongue. We're not pushing it down to flatten it, but we're not having any tension at the root of the tongue. And that's a big technical challenge that I'm glad that these singers have overcome and that whoever their teacher is must have honed in on it really early on because it's a bad habit that can develop. If the root of the tongue bunches up in the back, we can get a gravelly kind of raspy tone, but this is clear as a bell. So I hope they can keep that technique up because it'll serve them well as their voices change more and as they get older. Super dramatic instrumental interlude here where you've got planes going to the background. Like, what's that all about? That's so cool. A 
the soloists are coming back again to kind of have their final say, do a bit of a solo one more time. And I'm really impressed with the drama in this first soloist face. There's so much passion in what he's singing about. And if you want to improve your facial expression when you sing, just like this wonderful performer here, I recommend that you sing in front of a mirror or you can just hold up your phone or tablet or something that you can see your face with and you can practice different facial expressions. Because for me at least, when I was a singer, I am a singer. For me at least, when I was growing up as a singer, I thought I was doing a lot of facial expressions when I really wasn't. I just thought in my brain that I was doing a lot, but for the audience, I really wasn't doing that much. That soloist was showing off some serious vocal range. I don't know if you heard that really high note that he sang, but I'm gonna give you a tip on how you can do it too. The soloist sings with a really supported sound, and if you want that as well, what I recommend is releasing the lower abdominals when you breathe in. So there should feel like a little bit of a release there. And then if you're going for a really high note, you wanna feel a bit of a tuck in the lower abs. There's another level of engagement and support that we want for those really high notes, and that helps us not to push or sing from the throat, as we mentioned earlier. I'm sure they could have handpicked any singer from this ensemble and they would do a wonderful solo job, but they really chose these soloists well. Their voices mesh well together, especially when they're handing it off solo to solo, they're kind of going back and forth. It's a nice cohesive sound. What an incredible finish. I just love so much about this ensemble. The tone quality is just so pleasing to the ear. The voices mesh together well. They're well practiced, they're well rehearsed. Overall, just an incredible performance. And one thing that I didn't talk about, and we don't highlight it enough in music making, is how much fun this group was having. It's clear they love what they do. They love what they're singing. They love what they're singing about. And that passion is coming through in their performance. That love, that passion for music making isn't something we can quantify. We can't say, oh, we need more of this or we need less of this. But it's truly the secret sauce of music making that makes a performance go from good to great. So take inspiration from this ensemble in your music making as you go forward. Have fun, know what you're singing about and give it 110%. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and please give me your feedback and your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment section below. And if you wanna watch more, you can click on the video that's gonna pop up on your screen in about three seconds. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.